Okay, so we have this linear equation here, and we want to find the slope. That is the topic for this uh, video here. And finding the slope is absolutely critical in algebra. Okay, so this equation represents a line. Okay, so this is the equation of a line, and this is referred to as a linear equation. Now, why would we uh, would be why is it referred to as a linear equation? Because look at the root word there, line. It's an equation of a line. In other words, this uh, equation right here. It has a graphical representation of a line on the xy coordinate plane. Now, this line here has some sort of slope, this m, right, uh, slope, which is a number, okay, a fractional value uh, that represents the steepness or tells us the angle of that line. So we want to calculate the slope with this particular um, equation. So if you don't really know what the slope is, don't panic. Um, uh, what I would suggest is I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel, my pre-algebra playlist and algebra playlist on the slope, so you can kind of learn the slope and just, you know before you get into this particular problem. But uh, we're going to get into exactly the, how, how to calculate the slope with this problem here in just one second. Uh, but uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But uh, basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. So if you are a middle school, high school, or college student and struggling in some sort of math course, I can likely help you out. Um, if you are taking any kind of an exam that has uh, math on it, so for example, SAT, GED, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplacer, Alex exam, teacher certification exam, you get the idea. In the exam that there is a math section, I can help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, I have a very uh, comprehensive homeschool math curriculum you might be interested in. Of course, um, if you don't have your own notes, which you should, but if you don't have your own, uh, own notes, I'm not going to beat you up, make you feel bad, but you can use my math notes. I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video, so you can check that out if you want. But you got to be taking math notes, okay, to be successful in math. I've been teaching math for decades. This is really a, a secret that so many students just don't know about, okay? The better your notes are, the better your grades are going to be. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Let's find the slope. Now, if you want to go ahead and try this on your own, you're like, yeah, I think I can do this, then I would certainly encourage you to pause the video. Maybe put your answer down in the comments section. And uh, or maybe any other comment that you want to put down or maybe, uh, you know, a way you would approach this problem. Also, that, that would be a good uh, comment, like how you would approach this particular problem. And then, of course, put in your final answer if you think you know it. But I'm going to get into it right now. OK, so uh, again, you need to know a little bit about the slope. OK, so let's just go up here real, real fast. Um, let me erase this here so we could talk about the slope for like 15 seconds because if you don't know what the slope is then you know you're really you know not understanding this problem so here's x here is y and then we have some sort of line okay now of course i had this equation of this particular line i just showed you but this line has a slope m okay that is the rise over the run okay and we want to uh find this uh, value, okay, the slope for this particular line, okay, so you need to understand what the slope is. It's this little uh, small variable m. It's represented there, but it's the rise over the run, and we have a slope formula, et cetera, et cetera. So there's different ways we can kind of come out, come at a particular problem to find the slope, but you need to understand understand what is the slope in general. So if you don't understand that, for this particular problem, it doesn't make a difference if you can calculate and tell me the slope, but if you don't have any conceptual understanding of what that means, then you need to go back and review further on the slope. There's a lot of different type of equations uh, when it comes to the slope in algebra. It's critical that you understand this, you know, the slope and everything about linear equations um, because you're going to be using them quite frequently in algebra. Okay, so you can see I have some stuff written down here. And um, here are two different ways two uh, common ways that we can represent a linear equation, the equation of a line. So here is a line. So I'm like, hey, I have this line I could graph on the xy plane. Give me the equation of that line. Well, uh, a two variable line, it's going to involve x and y and a number. You can have a line expressed like our problem right here. Okay, this is called standard form. Where we nice have we have nice integer values in front of the x, y, and the c values. So 
This is one uh, particular format for a line, but there's other formats as well. This is probably even a more common. This is the slope intercept form. So if I had like y equals two thirds x plus seven, this is another way we can express the equation of a line or a linear equation. This is slope intercept form. This is standard form, okay? Now this particular uh, form right here, when lines are written in this form, it's awesome. We love this form uh, because if I wanted to know the slope, it's this little m, okay? It's whatever the number is in front of the x is the slope of this line. So for this particular line, y equals 2 thirds x plus 7, this 2 thirds is the m, okay? This is the slope, all right? So the slope of this line is 2 thirds. It's like as easy as it comes in terms of answering a question. It's just this number in front of the x. So a good way, uh, probably the best way to approach this uh, problem is to take our uh, equation, okay, this is the, the one that we're going to work on here, 3x plus 5y, and rewrite it in this form, okay? We're going to take this uh, line that's in standard form and write it into slope-intercept form. Now, you can, there is a formula, direct formula, that where there's lines in standard form uh, to find the slope, but I would prefer that you just rewrite this equation into slope-intercept form and then tell me what the slope is from there. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. And in order to do that, what we're going to have to do here, you can see um, I have y equals mx plus b. I need to have the y all by itself. So effectively, what we're going to do in this equation is solve for y. Okay, you need to be able to solve for y. Now, I'm going to stress this technique here because solving for particular variables uh, when there's multiple variables in an equation is a huge skill in algebra. You absolutely you must know how to do it. And a lot of students are not that, um, well, there's they have difficulty with it, okay? Which makes them uh, um, not able to complete, you know, a lot of different problems, okay? So this is going to get you in trouble. If you're not good at doing this, you need to uh, immediately correct this because uh, this is very, very important that you know how to do this successfully. All right, so let's get into it now. Here is our problem. First thing I'm going to do, let me scoot this over here, is solve for y. I'm going to rewrite this equation in terms of y because when I do that, I'll have this, you'll see here in a second, I'll have this into uh, slope-intercept form, and then I can identify the slope m. Now, I already kind of gave you a technique or uh, kind of told you how to do this, so if you think you can do this, I would say pause the video, go ahead and do so. Maybe even write your answer in the comment section uh, or write your entire equation or the slope. So, you know, participate. Think about this. If you're like, oh, okay, this is how you do it, then pause the video, see what you can come up with, and then uh, see me finish this out. But I'm going to get into this now. All right, so uh, you're going to want to uh, look at additional videos if you're confused about what I'm doing. But basically, if I want to solve for y, okay, this is the variable that I want to solve for, okay, I'm going to think of everything else as kind of like numbers. So this 3x here, I'm just going to treat this as one big number value. So if I'm solving for y, just imagine this, okay? Forget this x for a second. What if I just had 3 plus 5y is equal to 10? Well, how would I solve for y? I would subtract 3 from both sides of the equation. So I would end up with 5y is equal to 10 minus 3, and then I would divide everything by 5, right? So that's what we're going to be doing here, but instead of just 3, it's 3x, okay? So again, if you're, uh, you know, have a difficulty, which is not uncommon for a lot of algebra students to solve for one particular variable, you need to review this. All right, let's get into it. I'm going to subtract uh, 3x from both sides of the equation. And when I do that, I'm going to add down. That's my first step here. So uh, 3x minus 3x is 0. Uh, 5y plus nothing is 5y. So I'm left with 5y is equal to 10 minus 3x. Now I could write this as 10 minus 3x, okay? That's one way I could write this. However, 10 minus 3x is the same thing as 5y is equal to negative 3x plus 10, okay? This is the same thing. Now why would I write it this way? Uh, why would I uh, go from here to here? Well, because, look, our slope-intercept form, we have that x term first, okay? I want to get, what I'm trying to do here is get this into y equals mx plus b uh, format, okay? So the x comes first and then the number, okay? All right, so let's continue on. And to solve for y, what do I have to do? 
Well, I got to divide everything by five, okay? But the entire equation by five, and now I get y is equal to negative three fifths x plus two. Now, this is the y intercept. Um, that's not important in this particular problem. Of course, if I wanted to graph this line, I needed to know this. What I need to know is this number in front of x, and I actually got it here. It is negative three fifths, and what does that represent? Well, that is the slope. The slope of this line is negative three fifths, okay? And if you got that right, then I must give you a nice, super happy face with an A plus 100%. I'll give you two three stars to make you feel extra special. Nice job. Matter of fact, if you were in my class, my algebra class, I might say, just take the rest of the year off. Uh, you know, I don't know what you're doing. Maybe you're watching that guy on YouTube, but you're outstanding. I'll see you next year in geometry if you happen to be in Algebra 1 or pre-algebra, whatever the case might be. Listen, nice job, okay? You need to know how to go from standard form to slope intercept form, and you need to go this way as well, okay? This is stuff that you need to do. You need to go from one form to another. Oftentimes, you'll be given problems like, hey, take this uh, um, linear equation in slope intercept form and put it into standard form. So you gotta be able to work with uh, these equations with two variables and fractions and moving from one form to another. It's absolutely essential in algebra, okay? But again, uh, finding the slope, calculating the slope is critical. Okay, you just this is like, you know, stuff that you just can't ignore. And hopefully this video helped you out. If that is the case, please consider smashing that like button. That definitely helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider uh, subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way. So please, if you like my teaching style, take advantage of all the videos I've done in the past and um, you know, follow me because I'm gonna be doing more videos. I'll never run out of math problems to do. And I kind of like to mix it up, do basic stuff, algebra, do some geometry, do some uh, uh, pre-calculus, calculus, you know, just spread it all out and, and you know, if you're watching my algebra videos, if you, you know, stick with me and you follow my work and you continue to learn mathematics, I have tons of, uh, you know, videos in various levels of math, okay? And hopefully you'll uh, exceed, you know, uh, where I'm at and just continue to learn math because I think math is pretty awesome, okay? All right, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. And with that being said, I definitely uh, wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.